This land wakes up in the dawn with more ecstasy than I've seen in Italian sunsets over the Arno, with more grace than the summer light dancing on Mediterranean waves. For that, for now, the land is startling. Mauve rim of the horizon cutting the moon's huge face as she sinks, and the Badlands buttes stretch to eternity, prisms of light making rainbow waves one after the other over her wrinkled rivers of still mud. This inspiring image of the Pine Ridge landscape is one of many lyrical passages in Melinda Camber Porter's novel Badlands, describing what many observers may see as desolation and hopelessness. This conflict is one of many found throughout the book. Ostensibly, the story is about a New York lawyer who has come to Pine Ridge, accompanied by his English lover, to represent a charismatic Indian man who wants to protect the burial sites of his ancestors. At the core of the book, however, are battles with a myriad of personal and cultural conflicts that the reservation brings to the surface. Porter is a native of England who writes and paints from her home in New York. She's married to a South Dakotan. Her novel, Badlands, resulted after trying to write a non-fiction book about American culture. I had just completed a book on French culture because I lived in Paris for nine years and I wrote for the Times and I wrote a non-fiction book sort of summarizing my feelings on French culture. But I could not feel myself getting closer to American culture through my journalistic sort of more rational approaches. And it was literally taken unawares in South Dakota where my husband would, you know, take us twice a year. And I would at first come unwillingly and say, you know, what am I doing here? You know, why can't we go to, why can't we go to the Bahamas? And no, he wanted to visit his family and that was great. And gradually, I began to really be taken over under the spell of the landscape and the feeling that I could really see very clearly. For me, the core of American culture was really the story of American culture was written here. And so it was kind of an amazing thing for me to realize that, well, it's not through my journalism that I'm going to find the answers. I've really got to delve more into the heart of America, into sort of this God's country that has been opened up to me. In, in what way did you find that center of American culture here? Well, I, I think one of the main things I found was a, a, a visual representation of America's past. You know, I come from England and we're taught to see everything historically. We don't see current events as being moments in time without any past. We always see what has, has led to them. And in places like interior and scenic, the places haven't changed in a hundred years. You know, they are as they were probably. And I think I really could see visually what America has come from and what this meeting of, of Native American culture and the early settlers, what this was all about and how it still plays a very big part in my mind in the way that America thinks about her, herself. I think that uh, it's hidden in the big cities. It's, it's not apparent but here you can see the, the historical conflicts. South Dakota Arts Council support for this program is provided with funds from the National Endowment for the Arts and the State of South Dakota. I'm Carl Gerke, Arts Advocate on South Dakota Public Radio.